Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with a new video and today it's gonna be on the free blueprint you get for completing the Haunting of Verdansk event. Now it's called the Pumpkin Punisher and it's for the Grau, it's a legendary blueprint. Getting this Halloween exclusive is absolutely free for everyone and it's kind of easy to get if you're willing to dump in a lot of time into the game. I mean, it took me three days to get it. You get it by going to 16 different locations on the map in Verdansk which you can find in the Halloween events tab or by looking at your map in-game during Warzone or Plunder. You gotta drop at those locations and loot the boxes and if you're lucky you'll be rewarded that area's item. For example, looting the prison gives you the Michael Myers cleaver. Okay, but I think, I'm not sure, but I think that if you loot up a legendary or orange box you have a higher chance of getting the item than you do from a regular common box but i'm not sure oh yeah and be aware of the jump scares you get in these areas specifically and i'm saying that you gotta be aware of these jump scares because i didn't know that there were jump scares and i had cranked my volume way up and when i got the first jump scare my soul left my fucking body anywho Okay, so now the best drop locations in my opinion would be for you guys to get locations such as the prison, military base, airport and train first before you go to the harder locations such as superstore and dam. Dam is by far the hardest location because there are less than 10 chests in dam and if you're not the first few squads to get down there, uh, you literally will not have the chance during the entirety of that game. So keep that for the last because you're going to waste a lot of time there. Now I will say that the event in general is cool. I bash this game a lot but I gotta say credit where credit's due. This event is kind of cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, they didn't just hand you the free stuff like they normally do. And instead they let you earn it with a twist. Which I think was kind of fun to do and I feel they should do more of it in the future. I believe the last time we had such a crossover event was back in COD Ghost if you guys remember. We had this map pack where we had this map called Fog and this map called Ruins where they did a, a kind of a crossover event where you got these care packages landing randomly once you finish the contracts and it would at random give you either Michael Myers or the Predator. So it's a reskin of the Juggernaut Maniac suit where you ran around as Michael Myers and the Michael Myers team played in the background or you ran around as the Predator with the laser blaster and the blades and the cloak it, it was really really cool and that was the first time they did it i really liked it and i really love ghost for all the crossover events that they did i think at one point we even had snoop dog and the drill sergeant as a voice pack so it changed up the in-game announcer that was really really cool and i wish they did stuff like that you know i would actually pay money to get such stuff now but yeah that i really feel that they should keep doing such events in the future as well just to keep things a bit more fresh. Now quickly let's just go over the gun. The gun itself you get which is the Pumpkin Punisher as stated. Which should be on screen right now. With the loadout I would run for it without destroying the overall look of the gun. But going by the stock attachments I really like how they did it. You know the first game we had was with the stock attachments. That was the uh, holographic side, the nexus barrel, the... Uh, Stock and the tack laser along with the commando foregrip. My build was just removing the commando foregrip, putting over the ranger foregrip and just removing the uh, holographic sight and putting sleight of hand because I like the grouse uh, iron sights. So that's the loadout that I used for the second game. We did well in both of these games respectively. It was both hardpoint games. Uh, in one game I got over 40 kills and no no both of these games were over 40 kills. And one really cool thing about this blueprint is that if you put on the gold camo or the Damascus camo, that, that pumpkin face, that face, that sinister smile actually stays on, which I think is really cool. I don't think it's there for obsidian. Hey man, I don't have the grog gold, okay? I'm not that sort of a grinder. So that's what it is. But I think overall this blueprint is actually really, really good. It definitely isn't like the other blueprints that you have where they just throw random attachments and uh, you know, just screw with the gun. This actually has some sensible attachments like the Nexus Barrel, really good. Commander Foregrip helps that uh, recoil control. You can leave it on if you want. You can substitute it for the Ranger Foregrip, doesn't really matter. So that's what that is. 
And with that, in conclusion, I would like to say that this is actually a really good stock build that they have given for the blueprint. And uh, it is viable in Warzone or Plunder. I really think it is viable in Warzone or Plunder. Uh, one tip is remove the 30 round mags and put on the 60 round mags and you don't need to change anything else on it. It, it really works out. But I will warn you guys, okay, this kind of takes a while. If I didn't state it before, this took me three good days. Three full days of dropping my ass in dam and literally just getting obliterated because you have people who will camp the loot boxes. They would have gotten everything. They will camp the loot boxes for free kills. So my advice to you guys is run a shotgun. Especially when you're going for dam, run a R9 or the Jack 12 if you unlocked it. Okay, run that will help you a bunch. That's what I ran. I know it's toxic, but that's what I ran so that I could just take out the squads that are camping the loot boxes and then open them up and test my luck, you know. But with that being said, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of short video, kind of long video, medium-sized video. Uh, I'm going to try and do more of these in the future. Flawless victories will be back. I'm trying to get a game with the Jack-12 as well as uh, the nerfed SPR-208. I'm going to try and get it. I'm going to try and get it to Obsidian and put out a video on that. But yeah, look out for that. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.